Hi there ladies and gentlemen, Total War fans, I'm Maarten and let's play Rome 2. We'll be playing as one of the successor kingdoms, Macedon. They have this uh, bonus on industrial buildings, it's good to keep that in mind. And they have a huge penalty with all Hellenic factions, but I don't care, we'll be conquering them anyway. It's been three days since the release. Uh, I had a quick look at um, a Roman campaign. A lot of new features are added. Some features are sadly missing. Uh, the new political system has replaced family tree. But we'll be seeing more of that. Of course, everybody is just at the foot of the learning curve. So let's play and find out. Nice artwork. I'm also quite curious about naval battles. I haven't played a naval battle. I did see some navies in the prologue. But well, that, that's it. The barbarians are coming. Tylus in particular is a problem and must be kept in check. The Athenians continue to resent your rule. They may turn against you or convince your Spartan allies to betray their treaty. Oh no. No matter, faced with hostility from Epirus, Sparta should remain true and may distract Epirus long enough for you to consolidate your rule at home. Conflict with the remaining successor kingdoms is inevitable, and you must be ready. Do not be afraid to seek military support from others if necessary. Rest assured, Macedon is the true heir to Alexander's legacy. It will rise once more. And we have an objective issue. Let's check up on the objectives. We have this main objective. It's um, chapter based, at least I've somewhere heard about it being referred as a chapter. Let's see, primary objective. Okay, well there are these bonus objectives. Yeah, there you have it. Complete a bonus objective does not grant you an instant reward but increases the reward you will receive for accomplishing the primary objective of this chapter. Okay. Oh yeah, let's look at those objectives. Um, conquer two provinces, or control them at least. Uh, maintain five naval units, that shouldn't be a problem. Make a client state of Epirus. Well, it might be doable. And be at war with Bergamon. It's a bit ill-advised, or it, it may be landing in Asia with barbarians up here. But who knows, by the time I have conquered two provinces, I just might want to go to Asia. Okay, we have this trade and finance interface, uh, giving me lowest public order per turn, income next term, it allows me to uh, control the tax level. No trade partners at the moment and a summary of what I did this turn, I guess. Okay. Technologies. Uh, there are two types, military and civil. Let's go with, uh, with the military one off the bat. And yes, we'll explore this throughout the Let's Play, uh, checking out different technologies, what they do. So we'll get back on that. This is the diplomacy window. A lot of people 
are unhappy speak with me. Speak wisely, if speak you must, for I will listen to your prattle for... Uh, no, they won't trade. Let's find... For oh, no, the sake of... I'm gonna fight with you. Um, Greetings, my friend. Trade? You have my ear for your speech, and if it profits my people, agreement too. Mm, no. Nope. They don't want the trade agreement. Greetings, friend. Trade? Let us use uh, our... Nobody wants to trade. Welcome. I throw open the doors to you and bid you enjoy our... Rejected. Okay. The Greetings to you. I trust you come with honorable words that I can hear kindly. Oh, he's Scottish. No. Uh, nope. No trade. Okay, I'm at war with Tillis. I have a defensive alliance with Sparta. And Athens is my client state. Let's check out the, how shall I call it, the strategic overview. Well, this province has my name on it, Macedonia. So I'll be going for that at first. Hmm, which province to take? The one with the olives or the one with the wine? Oh, that's uh, it's looking good. Acceptable wealth and acceptable region growth. Okay, so I'll be focusing on Epirus for the beginning of the game. Ready for battle. Having an army in your city will result in public order. As you can see in this screen. The overall happiness of a population is influenced by a variety of different contributing factors, including taxation, cultural differences and devastation following conquest, food shortages, slaves, the presence of entertainment buildings, squalor, and the actions of enemy agents. Rebellion becomes a risk when the people are so unhappy that repression can no longer contain public order. Okay. As I was saying, uh, you have this um, this bar. I guess it can get to a hundred, and then you'll have a buffer for uh, times in which you'll be worse off. At your command. I'm going for the wine province. You can call me Nix. What? What? What can I call you? Oh well, whatever. Um. Softly. Let's check up on the province. There and let's do something horrible do. with them. Oof. He's having quite the... She has the low odds. Ah, that's better. Let's poison the wells. They will never know I was there. Let's hope they won't. It failed. I am so sorry. Yeah, you should be. We hunger for battle. Anyways, I'm gonna Finding walk shelter. up to the border. Is that and I'm all? gonna invade next turn. Let's see. Yes, I'll be able to get Advance. there. Let's recruit some more units. I can recruit hoplites in this province. They are way better than the levy pikemen, I think. Uh, yeah, melee attack 16, 32. That's a huge improvement. The militia are also less powerful than the hoplites. 
So we'll be recruiting hoplites. Yeah, I'm not gonna pay for you. Yep. Be gone. Let's keep these guys in the settlement. Uh, I might want to... Uh, enlarge the settlement, settlement, but on the other hand, it'll cost me minus two food to do so, I think. Or is that a provincial income, provincial food income? Uh, let's keep a check on it. To you. Expand city. No effect, okay. Let's build a marketplace, an Agora. Minus two. Let's raise a force for the defense. Other families, other families, other families. They have no recruitment costs, which is nice, of course. no other difference in generals so I'll be recruiting Demetrius Kalos <laughs> some calf would be nice especially since I don't have any other calf recruitment options I'll unlock them in a short time though Royal Beltas Whoa, they are really powerful. Huge weapon damage, huge melee attack. Okay. Shield bearers. They should be high on defense. 100 armor. 62 melee defense. And 30. 38 melee attack 69 yeah that's a huge difference uh, melee defense 50 armor 75 on the shield bearers that's higher and the foot companions held 40 40 40 40 no difference there they're a bit in between the royal belt dusts and the shield bearers Oops. 85 armor, 75 armor, 53 against 50, oh that's a low charge bonus, low weapon damage, low melee attack, the food companions are, are useless, I think, yep, I'll always choose the shield bearers when it comes to it, but let's go with the royal peltasts for now. Commander, let's recruit a hoplite. Sign up, lads, for a good and glorious life. And some javelin man. Oh wait, back in the city. Now he's providing um, happiness in this province. Okay, I think I've checked up on Fleet everything. Reporting. I'm gonna fight with uh, Aperus, so let's find uh, one of their navies. Moving There's out. one. Yep, it'll be fun uh, Drop engaging them, I think. I haven't seen a naval battle before. So let's end turn. A lot of factions in this game. It would be cool if uh, more were to be unlocked. Oh, they're attacking. Danger! Danger! 
should I retreat this army and um only the greatest dare speak of peace to their enemies. Only the weak seek the death of all. Okay. Sounds good. Tillis, which I've been thoroughly warned about, is offering itself as a client state. My word. Nice. I'm having two client states now. I can pull out Ready the Champions of Olympus. Burp, 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 burp. Set up the watch. This army we is recruiting at the battle. moment. Uh, I just have to consider if I'll engage this army head on. Or if I am to take Apollonia. I'm not sure. Let's be safe and uh, At your command. destroy this little Epirus army. An act of war, yeah. Well, they're in my territory, so uh, make haste, men. I don't care. You'll reinforce, which is nice. For the gods. Declare. Uh, oh wait, I might get something out of it diplomatically. I think the Spartans were already at war with uh, with the Epirates. So if I'll offer Sparta to aid them in their war. Welcome. The day is already old and there is much to do. Yes, so if you have words, speak them. Okay. Um they are very unfriendly, and I should try to uh, gear it up a bit. Yeah, that's low. Um, yeah, sure, it would be low as well. <laughs> Join war against Epirus. Moderate. I can settle. I thought they would be more. Um, they would be more happy. Broken treaties with Epirus, war with Epirus, and treaties with Sparta. Yeah, it's getting better. But I can't trade with them anyway. We don't have um, colliding borders. So let's do this. Our first battle. For death and honor! Ah, I have the upper hand. Um, let's fight the battle on the battlefield anyway. Just to get our first taste of, um, of battle in this new game. The Dread of Deimos. <laughs> the Heralds of Thanatos. That's an awesome name. Also because I know who Thanatos is. He sees the God of Death, if I'm correct. Let's take... Dry Weather. Mm, I haven't explored the landscape. Oh, here they are. We have some... Royal Guards, of course, Javelin Man, Hoplites, and Militia Hoplites. Well, my army is far superior. And some Cav. They can do this diamond thing. Let's see. Human moves into a diamond shaped attack formation charge bonus 
it's bad on the defense. Okay, good to know. Shield bearers! On me! Let's see. Uh, there are there reinforcements. They're coming up. Our reinforcements have arrived! They're gonna wage battle against me? Oh, those are my reinforcements. It's just this... Oh! Run! Yes, you guys as well. Get up here. Well, maybe not run. They'll tire themselves out. Royal Cavalry. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Um, if this is the same system as Rome 2, uh, I mean Shogun 2, those symbols will mean these guys are spear carriers. Also, if you check up with this image, they are holding a spear, so they must be... Um, they must be anti-cav cavalry. Awaiting orders. In service of the people. Mm. This doesn't look too good. Those uh, eight-bit shadows, but. Uh, a patch will be released today, if I'm correct. Friday, today is Friday. Which should, um, Royal tasks. which should help with a lot of things, a lot of glitches, uh, or at least some glitches will be removed. Uh, people on CA are working to patch this thing a bit up. Let's check up with the units, how they look. Oh, that was weird. Let's check up some closer. They don't have noses. Really? Is this an arm Michael Jackson army? Yep, they're all lacking noses. I need to turn my audio down a bit, the thumping is uh, loud. Oh hey, they found their noses again. Let's check up with these guys. Yeah, that's looking quite good. Very heavy spirit. That's awesome. Very heavy melee infantry. That's awesome as well. Shield wall. Unit moves into a close formation and raises shields. That's oh, armor strength, bracing, melee defense, shield strength. But it's bad on their uh, movement armor speed. Wall! Yep, that's a close formation. Okay. They are javelin man, right? Because I get this uh, sword. Whereas I would like to have the fire peltists, as they are royal peltists. Okay, they are retreating a bit. Stratagos! For the god 
Lords of Olympus! General! Orders? Yes, they only can... Uh... Traveling men! Fire! Melee infantry! They will get into uh, melee. If I order them to attack. Despite them being belt, the sky change something about it. Traveling men! Okay, speed. yeah, nice try. Advance at speed! Oh yeah, let's check Mirror out the phalanx. Our general is under attack. <laughs> oh, they've retreated. At speed, commander, ready. Double time. Advance at speed. Royal Peltasts. Macedon. Quick march, Commander! Yeah, fire! They're trying to get in my flex or something. Let's charge. Companion cavalry. Melee infantry ready. Yeah, let's do that again. The enemy general oh, they only have two pelts. Oh, that was quick. Nice. Okay, get rid of the phalanx and catch up. Understood. Keep on attacking that royal cavalry. Spear infantry at Attack your them. Men. Quick march. You might throw uh, Balthists in their backs. Loose. Always Spear a nice thing haste. to do. Companion cavalry ready and waiting. Yes, they are fighting, I think. Let's Look for glory. flank these really? bastards. Oh, nice. The battle is turning in our favor. Missile infantry! Companion cavalry! Pull out. I'm gonna Ready need uh, I'm gonna need you later. The men are wavering. Really? Why? Oh, because they are a lot stronger, of course. Companion cavalry. So those are two flanks at once. Oh no, they've routed. Orders. Ah. Double time. At speed. General. Oh yeah, I didn't use my general. But I will. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Our general has fallen. What? Royal Peltasts. Demetrius has fallen. General. Hmm. That's soon. We never got to know him. Warriors of Macedon. The enemy general is dead. Traveling men! Okay, you can stop firing before you kill half of my units. Royal Peltasts! Ah, they've gained experience. Too bad I won't be using this uh, unit. Yeah, and battle. I guess so. Well, their general is dead. I've lost an entire unit of 
hoplites due to his general. I didn't know the difference would be uh, this huge. It's huge, alright. I wonder if they'll still be around. Enslave them. Let's see. Send the captives to the corners of your empire where they will help drive your economy. Be mindful, however, that too many slaves will affect public order. Okay, I'll keep it in mind. So he's gonna die as well, I think. Your next command. March. He didn't? We he didn't die. Demetrius. Demetrius lives. Okay, that's cool. It's uh, kind of weird, though. But yeah, he's back. Uh, it's this general we hunger for battle. No, he's not. He just went level up. Odysseus is Wanderers. That's Tongue Twister. The Blazing Thundercats. Yeah, you can check up here, what's good for what, and general strength of character and ability to lead troops in the battle, understanding of strategy and tactics, and resolve and personal combat prowess. I'm guessing, I don't know which is which, um, but let's go for morale, or uh, I mean authority. Authority! Okay, I chose authority now. Yeah. Let's try again. Yep, four. Enables, inspire, and plus five to size of the commander's aura of influence. Well, that's useful. Uh, this has been my first episode of Let's Play. In the next episode, we'll be using the Blazing Thundercats to destroy the Griffin's Grace of Epirus and march up to... Well, I still want Apollonia, really. I think I want the wine. Uh, I also don't want Larissa because it would be a buffer state to the to the Athens, Athenians which the, the intro has warned me about. So, it's been fun playing and I'll see you next time.